Hello, thank you so much for joining me today. I would like to talk to you about an event I'm doing and some products I've ordered for it. Um, so a few videos ago I was talking about doing a book reading signing event at the local cafe. Um, now the date has been set for a few for quite a few days. It's been decided. It's gonna be on 21st of December 2017 at the Chocolate Cafe in Canterbury, Kent, the United Kingdom. Um, so in anticipation for that and to prepare for it, because I've never done something like that, I've ordered some products that I think I need, I thought I need. And yeah, some people advise me to, to have, others I've just logically thought about <laughs> them myself. So I would like to show them because they've all arrived uh, over the course of a few days. Um, so yeah, let's get into it and hopefully you'll find them useful. Uh, I suspect some of these things many of you will need either that you're, um, either if you're writers or just artists or business people in general. So I've ordered most of the products, well I think all of the products I've ordered except the paperback books. Uh, which I've ordered to have at the book signing and physical copy, obviously. Uh, I've ordered, they came from Amazon. Um, but other than that, um, all the other products I've ordered are from Moo, which is a company, obviously a printing company. They have, have a base in Europe and in America. Um, I don't know if they have like in other areas as well but these are the major parts where you can order from so I, obviously i'm in the uk so my products i believe came from more france anyway um yeah, i've ordered with them before um, some business cards for when i was doing photography and for my father who's a sculptor and i was really pleased with the design with the quality of the cards they are a bit more expensive than other uh, printing companies like Vista Print, but I think they are really worth it. Um, yeah, so I'll just begin by showing you what I've ordered. So what do you need for a book signing? I've never done one before, but I thought, well, you need to advertise for it. Yes. So um, when I was talking to the, the owner of the cafe, when I'm doing the, the event, um, obviously we were talking about flyers, having flyers on the door of the cafe and the window and other areas so we can obviously advertise the event and i knew i wanted to do like a4 size because i don't want them too big too small either so i think i'll show you now what, how they came um and i, I i'm quite pleased with how they came out <laughs> really good quality um so i've ordered the minimum i was able to order um, it was 50 <laughs> unfortunately I mean unfortunately in a way on the other side I'm quite happy that that mo because that forced me to do something else which now is very I think it's going to be very useful I, I only needed like six I think for the cafe to actually advertise in their window um, and on the door because he need the, the owner needed to so he could put front and back as people go uh, and enter and exit um, but obviously I ordered like 50 because that was the minimum so I did something I'll like give the flyers in town um, for people who would like to maybe come to the event I need to let them know um, so I'll show you the flyers first and then I'll show you the business card I've, the business cards I've ordered um, and yeah <laughs> and some other things um, so th these are the flyers that I've designed. It's a, they're glossy, obviously, as you can see. The, right, the light is a bit reflecting. But yeah, these are A4 flyers. So I put the date, obviously, the place, the, about the, the cover of the book, um, the timing, uh, details about where you can find more information about the event, and my page, of course. And then I had the option of doing the backside w white or like blank or um, 
having something on it you can upload up to like 50 designs that's that's the cool thing about moo card business cards or flyers you can they have print infinity i think it's called and you can basically you have one front image design how you'd like to call it but then you have 50 sides on the on the back side you can upload up to 50 designs or how many flyers you've ordered obviously the minimum is 50 um so with fixed print i think they charge you extra for that and yeah anyway i don't want to compare and that's not what this is about um so i i was talking to a lady uh who's like well-known writer in america especially uh her name is heather grace stewart and she, i think she's like a romance author um yeah in that genre so i was talking to her i was watching her youtube videos she has like live signings i think no live signings high live videos i think she mostly does them on thursdays um so i was asking for her advice and she was so kind to to let me know will give me some tips on what i should need because uh, I, I looked online and there were many uh videos many people talking about what you would need for a book signing to make it like you know especially if you're new or new author like myself um, what you need to be prepared for a book signing um, so yeah i'm very grateful <laughs> for her advice and this is another reason why i'm doing this video because i think many people would will benefit from it we will learn from my mistakes if i'm going to do any uh, probably i will <laughs> But yeah, in terms of products and stuff, what you need to prepare for a book signings, yeah. So she told me that I should have like, well, not myself necessarily, but like whoever wants to do this, um, you should have obviously flyers, business cards, of course, and you should have like um, flyers or like you know, printing material with some reviews. So. Uh, people who have no idea who you are, haven't read you before, they get a feeling of what your book is about or how the style is, or how people are enjoying your work. So I've decided, I'll, I'll, since I had to order 50 flyers, that I'll put, I won't do separate flyers, I'll use the same and I'll just put this image on the front and on the back I'll do this. <laughs> So I used two quotes that I read, two review quotes by two people. One is a book reviewer um, and another one is a winning author, uh, award winning poet. He writes haiku, haiku poem, poems and I really liked what he said about my, what he wrote about my, um, my novel. I thought it kind of nailed <laughs> the style in a way and the feeling. Um, so yeah, I use this on the back to give people an idea of of my book. So if, if I'm gonna, I will do it. I'll like give flyers on the street before the event, uh, the few days before the event or whenever I'm gonna have time for my day job. Um, they, they, they can see details about the event and then on the back side they can read a little bit about the book, see if it's if it's something they enjoy because I don't want to have like random people who are just curious oh it's a book signing I'll go and see what this person is about you know I want some people who might actually enjoy my book style my, my writing style and just to give them give them an idea I thought it was very useful so thank you again Heather for uh, for the suggestion so I've used the quotes to quote quote reviews from Amazon you can see them on my Amazon profile um, Amazon profile or my Amazon where my book is listed you can see uh, on the UK page though because the dot com the uh, international one I think yeah they're not for some reason Amazon doesn't show them yeah you have to be like local I suppose in the that certain country so and the Lily you guys you know Lily Bloom <laughs> my name is Lily um, I spoke with a lady to design it for me, she's a local artist, I've photographed her before because I love her work and I inquired if she could do something for me and she she did, <laughs> so this is the result, her name is Angela Malone, 
uh, she does a sculpture um, she does mural work uh, she's really talented so I, I think the lily came out really cool really really I think she bought fly uh, she bought like live flowers and did a, did them after them did a, did a painting after them and she sent me the image so I was able to design this and I think it came out quite cool um, so yeah let's look yeah obviously on the, the when you design the flyers initially I put a lot of information about the book because I was like well people might not know most people will know who I am um, so I want them to get an idea of the book what the novel is about so I put like here there was a lot of information about the book like a blurb but then the owner was like wait that's too much writing obviously and he was right so he was like I'll make the auto auto photo bigger so I did fortunately I had to make it like uh, I'm not a fan of my face be seen on town but uh, that's gonna whatever so I it, it ended up like this so you, you with the design you go you wanna <coughs> you wanna have it quite simple quite effective not too much information um, yeah give like your pages uh, my website uh, currently I'm using wix.com so that website has a really long name I chose not to use it so I put my Twitter and my Facebook page if you go to my Twitter you find my website find you my YouTube channel all the sorts of details Facebook fame so hopefully yeah and I have event for adults only because my book contains explicit content content so <laughs> um, yeah, just to warn people beforehand so they don't come to my uh, reading and they're like, oh my gosh, she uses this language and it's whole, you know. So just to give people an, uh, an idea of what it is about. Uh, now I will show you the business card, which came out, well, in this, they came obviously, they came in wrapped in bigger boxes. And this is like, it was wrapped in this, which is really nice color. I really like this color. And it's like looks like a wax seal you know but actually i think this is plastic so i'm not really a fan of it because you know plastic and all sort of that thing you know it's not very good for the environment but it's their design i mean it looks really pretty it looks they more takes a lot of attention gives a lot of attention to the products so that's that's very cool you can you you're safe in your hands with your products it, it looks it shows good quality and you know it's good to have attention to detail so they have business cards uh, all sorts of like looks of standard but uh, they also have um mini cards which is like a mini version obviously of the business card and i've ordered a hundred of them i believe again it was the minimum because yeah i don't need that many i didn't think i'm I don't need that many business cards or whatever but yeah um so i'll show you the business cards how they, they design came out slightly off but that's my fault um but i'll show you how they came out well i'll show you the box so they come in box like this they have the the teardrop or cool design by moon and it opens like this so you get the cards and that's the back of the card um, well, yeah, the back of the card. So this is the yeah, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but yeah, that's the design. And they're, as you can tell, they're quite thick, quite thick. And I like this because they're small. But I think they're very, you know, they're very cool. They have a, they're gonna, hopefully, well, I'll see, I'll do another video after books and you can see how, it, I'll tell you how it went. But, yeah, so this, and they, by the way, they have, like, you can choose to have a color inside the card, because they, they use several layers of paper to do the cards. Um, I don't know if it's, like, seven or eight or something like that. And um, you can choose between, like, six colors I think and white so they have like red green blue yellow which is the one I chose so it goes with my my lily because <laughs> uh, I love yellow lilies and yeah there's a few colors you can choose you, I think you can also choose white but I, I thought this time I'll choose yellow so yeah um, 
I'll also show you something because you know for business cards you don't carry this big box with you all the time so I got the business card holder from from Moo again so, and what I like about it is like let me go <laughs> let me see how <laughs> yes <laughs> I need to get used to this so this is really cool because look you're doing this you say you're holding a glass of water or wine whatever your beverage of choice or yeah your hand one of your hands is busy so and someone asks you for a card you can just like take it from your pocket take this from your pocket and just whoosh, whoosh. so and then it looks like this <laughs> so you just and you can put it back in obviously well some <laughs> I'm just showing you so it's a bit weird but yeah it's just very easy to take out and and close as well yeah <laughs> I'm just yeah it's it's so cool <laughs> um so yeah I haven't spoken about the business cards I've got the I haven't spoken too much about them so yeah I've got auto photo um and it says fiction writer and photographer because I do photography as well although not not at the moment I'm very busy very busy writing and you have my Facebook on it YouTube email address Instagram and my phone number and on the back side I've used my uh, three books slash short stories sorry that I've got my novel I don't think this is going to focus because it's a very small card but yeah um, you've got my novel my script movie script and short stories and the design I use the design again <laughs> um, so yeah it's a bit annoying that I can't focus to show you that to show you the quality of the how thick they are they're really they're really sturdy if you can tell they're not like easily bendable you see even if I'm like obviously I'm not pulling too hard because I don't want to rip it but if I, if I try to do to do that it wouldn't break that easily and you can yeah they have sharp edges originally I wanted round ones but for some reason it didn't work to do them for these mini cards I know you can do them for the business cards and for the standard paper on the mini cards but this has looks paper which is thicker and yeah they can only have sharp but I actually like the, this yeah I like them sharp so yeah these are the mini cards with a card holder you can hold up to seven seven mini cards in the, ho in the card holder and they also gave me like <laughs> you said it says want to make someone smile here are some mini cards uh, discounts and stuff like that so I've got a few in like green blue and red which say you're nice that's so cool <laughs> told you Moo have really cool um, design and uh, they give a lot of attention to detail so on the back oh I think I just showed you the code but I don't think it's, it's gonna matter <laughs> well if you're gonna use it <laughs> anyway I was planning to give it to people at the book signing but I don't know if anyone is interested um, they can try the code see if it works so yeah that was with the business cards um, what else did I wanted to show you show you the business card the card holder and yep, so these um, so yeah I've got like the rest of the flyers like all the other 30 of them because I left like oh no all the other 40 because I left like 30 at the cafe uh, 10 at the cafe so another thing that I've ordered from oh and I'll show you the books uh, I mean the books they're like 30 plus a short story book printed because I redesigned the cover and I want to see how it looks the the red color the finding you short story book so it's a uh, this one I ordered it and I'll have one with me um, I think I'll just keep it just to have it there see how because I wanted to see how it looks 
but I will show them they're in the corner in, in the box so there's like 30 of them so there's not like enough room to like show you the books around maybe I'll insert an image or if not I'll, sh I'll show you later in another video how they all look like oh yeah they look quite cool all of the all the bunch of books in one place but I'll show you the book cover well, you've seen it before if, if unless you're new to my channel I'll just show you just in case but yeah this is the, the novel front cover and the back cover this is my copy my older copy with the three 30 uh, sorry 30 new copies so yeah I'll have like 30 of these <laughs> if any of you who show up at the book signing would like to get a copy I'd be more than happy to give you well obviously you have to pay for it because you know it's print print books so they cost money <laughs> to produce plus the work that went into them um, but what I wanted to talk about another thing that I've ordered from Mo I was watching Peter Likes Books uh, a youtuber and author himself and he was talking about a present he gave his mom and that inspired me to want to do something I think it's quite cool um, so I don't really have a journal I haven't used the journal in ages all I do when I have like certain thoughts I write them in my Evernote um, up on my phone and I use them for books novel novel ideas stuff like that but I wanted to have like a journal style and it's because we use phones nowadays and it's just like it made me think like what if um, also because I was looking at my older videos because I, I, I have just over a year since I've been on YouTube and I was thinking of my older videos it's quite cool I mean obviously I'm speaking a lot and then my videos are really long and so they're not you know the best videos on YouTube I suppose but I hope you like them <laughs> and I was watching and it was quite cool though even if it was a long video um, and some people might not enjoy that maybe they just want three minute quick videos I thought it's quite cool that especially for myself and whoever has a channel and does that it's quite cool to see yourself how you evolved in time how you've not necessarily, cha not necessarily changed but yeah how you evolved in time and as a writer like in my first video I was talking about my first novel which is obviously my debut novel and I was talking about it and how I was planning to, to publish it and all that stuff stuff and eventually ended up being published many months later for certain reasons and yeah I was thinking it's quite cool to have like a video collection of memories of your progress and stuff you've done and uh, that made me think that oh what about writing like you write and you have like digital files but it's always cool to have not just school but it's good to have something printed to like to remind you of certain things how you felt when you were doing a certain project or what, how you're feeling at a certain point in your life so I decided I, I or I'll order a, a notebooks and since I was looking at uh, Mo I knew they had like note cool quite cool notebooks but I've never ordered one because I don't use them anymore that much I have some but I, I just haven't use them that much uh, to put ideas down and I decided to order some and because I wanted to, to make my pres uh, presents for my parents as well which I've already said <laughs> I'm so excited for that it's so much nicer when you, you give presents rather than when you receive I don't know I feel really nice it's, it's nice to give presents make people happy um, obviously I like receiving presents but you know I think it makes you even happier when you make someone happy uh, so I decided to order some notebooks um, I think they're like a hundred and six I'll show you I've, I've got two colors the ones I liked because this these notebooks I'll show you they have like the middle is colored um, so yeah and the colors I, I didn't like all of the colors that were in the middle either because they were too bright or you know too strange for my purposes they might be useful for other people for other purposes but the ones i like i'll show you two of them um red red and blue obviously they both got covered but i, I got this out because they're a bit difficult to get out because they're supposed to be kept safe in this um so yeah i got two i'll show you the blue first i'll show you the color in the middle so this is the color 
in the middle I think it's really nice I ordered this is gonna be a present for someone <laughs> um, but yeah it opens like this and they're all the same they all have the same design except obviously in the middle is different color and yeah the cover obviously is different color so I'll put this away and I'll show you the red one the one I ordered for myself I like this one but I'm not a fan of blue necessarily although if I'll order in the future I'll probably order this because I like the color in the middle much better and I'll probably use it more than the one in the red I don't know we'll see I guess I'll see so the red one is that I love red so really nice. especially this color I don't like all types of red I'm being fussy but this kind of red so this comes slides off you get this to keep it safe on your shelves so yeah this is the, the more design and yeah it opens like this so um by the way the cover feels really like cloth i don't know it's just very pleasant to the touch yeah it's it, it's quality so this one has lavender which i really like but i don't know how i'm gonna feel writing on it but it just makes me really happy this color it's a nice color so it opens like this you can see it's not like bended or yeah it's just straight so when you open this it's flat which i love because i don't like it when i don't know it's just I, I prefer it like this you can write better on it and the paper feels really soft and like I don't know it feels like silk in a way it's very it's lovely to the touch so I'll show you the what oh yeah and I'll show you the middle so yeah this is the middle <laughs> purple everywhere yeah I think it's like six eight one two three four or there's a few pages a few pages colored and the rest white so yeah um and yeah you have also this of course like the sign so you you know where you are which is again What else this has? It has a business card holder. So it says, what does it say? I'm a business card holder. Stick me inside your notebook. So I'm going to do that right now because I want to show you something. I think. Was it here? Oh no. No, that's it. So I can do it like that. I don't have to. Yeah, I thought something else written. No, that's it. I think it's quite cool too. So I'm going to put it on my, my notebook over here and oh, yeah I got it so you can put business cards in here so you can have some with you or from other people um, yeah I'm gonna show you the front the first page right as you open it's, I don't know if you can see it in the video, you can tell. This is much thicker. And then you have a file, and then it's, it comes with like the lines. Not like white paper, as you can tell. So yeah, I really like this, I think. And what I want to do with this, I'll tell you now. And I'll probably show you in the future videos, some, of, some parts of it. Um, I want to do like um, not a journal necessarily I want to do like a book of memories and that's exactly what I'm gonna write with it either in English or my, or my native language um, yeah it's gonna be an, a book of memories nice memories especially or not, not like don't think about oh my god it's gonna be this immense memory or like massive memory it can be something really simple if you want to do something like this 